Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video in today's Pokemon Sword and Shield video guide we're going to be showing you the fastest way possible of getting shiny Pokemon. This is of course with the Masuda method. Now if you've played other Pokemon games you know what I'm talking about. If not you should definitely hang around and even if you have played the other ones maybe there's a few things on this game that are different. I'm not sure I didn't play the latest uh, the last generation of Pokemon games. But nonetheless, this is what the Masuda method involves. So basically with this method, we're going to be getting our shiny Pokemon out of eggs by breeding two Pokemon from different languages. Now, it doesn't matter about the region. It only matters about the language. Uh, so basically, when you start the game up, you choose the language and you can no longer change it. So for instance, my Pokemon is a English Pokemon and the one that I traded with my friend is a Spanish Pokemon or basically off of a game that somebody's playing in Spanish. So the easiest way to do this is obviously to get a female version of the Pokemon that you would like shiny and then get a Dito from somebody that's playing in a different language. So like I said, I got this Dito from my Spanish friend. So you can actually tell if the Pokemon is from a game in a different language. You just go into the Pokemon summary and it actually shows the initials of the country at the top right if it's not in the same language as yours. So yeah, once we've got a Dito from another language and a female version of whatever Pokemon you want shiny from your game, we are pretty much halfway done. However, there are two items that will speed up this process. One of them is the Oval Charm, which basically gets them to lay eggs a lot, lot quicker. So for that, we're gonna go to Surchester, which is the snowy town where we fought one of the gym leaders. And we're gonna go into the left-hand side hotel and then go up and enter the penultimate door. Here we're gonna to have to fight the Game Freak guy. By the way, this can only be done post-game once you've uh, finished the story he will give you the Oval Charm. The other thing we're gonna do to speed this up is have a Pokemon in our party with Flame Body. A good Pokemon that normally has this is Carco, for instance. So really you just want Carco to be the only Pokemon in your party. And then with these two things done, start breeding eggs with the uh, Spanish Dito or the other language Dito and a female Pokemon of your choice. And yeah, just go up and down this bridge, keep picking up eggs. You can tell when there's an egg ready to pick up because the NPC has our arms crossed. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Just go up and down, picking up eggs, opening eggs, picking up eggs, opening eggs. This can uh, take for ages or you could get really, really lucky. It actually took me 40 minutes only of farming. And apparently there's people out there that's been live streaming for three days straight and still haven't got it. So yeah, I believe the odds are approximately 1 in 600 for it to be a shiny Pokemon. If you did, however, complete the full Pokédex and do have all 400 Pokemon and you do have the shiny charm, that uh, percentage or the odds will go down to 1 in 500. It doesn't really change that much. I did it without the shiny charm and it only took me 40 minutes of going backwards and forwards opening eggs, but I think I got incredibly lucky. So yeah, guys, this is the Masuda method of getting shiny is definitely the best method out there and it's the one that uh takes the least effort i guess so hopefully this is helpful if it was please go down and subscribe and we'll see you next time